Welcome back to Mad Dog Air Guns. Today we've got the Gamo Big Cat. This is a brake barrel 177, so 4.5 mil. Uh, in France, we're allowed legally up to 20 joules. But now I have my Category C license, we can go beyond 20 joules. This one I've already fitted the full power spring and a high performance seal in it. So today, we're gonna to try fitting this. Now this is a double spring kit. So you've got your, your main spring, and you've got another spring that goes up the inside. Now for this gamo, we've got this piece which we're gonna fit. That goes up in the spring, and that goes into the, the trigger assembly. So we're gonna pull this gun apart and swap these springs over. So we're gonna fit this, and apparently it will give it a little bit more recoil, um, but it should give it a lot more power. Let's get this fitted. So here's the spring. That's the piece that's gonna go in the trigger assembly. So you've got your main spring, and your spring that goes up the middle, basically. So we'll just put them to one side. All right, it's coming back to draw me. So what I need to do first, Let's just take this scope off. Take the stock off out of the way. Leaves us with this. I'm going to take the barrel off. What I'm going to do is also just disconnect this. This is your bear trap so that you can't pull the trigger when you've um, got your barrel cocked, uh, when you've broken your barrel to cock the gun. I just tend to pull that spring up around there like that. Easier said than done. spring can just come out then and then this can slide all the way out like so and you can just unhook that from the, the barrel so now that piece just comes out the end so that's the barrel bolt so what you can do now is just do that and then that's your barrel off just put that to one side so the spring is in here there's your trigger group on this end that is held in with a pin in just in there so what we need to do is squash this up to compress the spring so that we can get the pin out now what I use for this little job is a sash clamp. So put the barrel on there like that, the other end's fixed. So 
So just a little bit of tension and you can push this pin out like so. And you just want to keep hold of, your, hold of the barrel as you unwind it because there's going to be a lot of tension on that spring. So it's coming undone quite nicely now. I'm just keeping hold of the um, holding, keeping hold of the, the cylinder so that it doesn't just slide out of the sash clamp. It will go quite a long way because the spring's under a lot of tension. see that's just dropped down now this is very greasy in here because I've I did grease it up quite well so let me just move this out of the way for a bit just lay out a couple of these So that can come off. This is your spring. It's nicely greased up, and that's your spring follower. Now, apparently, you don't don't put that piece back in with this kit. Um, the spring's just going to rest inside the the piston. Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. Um, just need to clean some of this grease off. And then that bit should just push out. Like so. And this is the piece that's going to go back in. Which it does. So these pieces all stay out and these pieces go in. So this is a full power spring that I've just taken out of the gun. Now this other spring is a little bit shorter but the coils are a lot thicker and there's two springs in there so I'm thinking that uh, it might be a bit more powerful. So I'm going to put that to one side. What I want to do here is just grease up the springs. So I've just got some lithium grease here. should do is just work that into the springs as both strength springs got some grease on I'll work this one inside it as well so that uh, and turn it So I'm not going to pull the piston out, that's already in there. So I'm going to put the spring in there like so. I'm 
And then that goes up there. Now I just need to compress that and put the pin in. So I got the rifle all back together. I just went to the back door and tried to cock it and it wouldn't cock. <laughs> I thought, oh, here we go again. I had this trouble before when I tried fitting it when they sent out the original spring kit, which was for a different gun. Anyway, this piece that I put in goes in front of the spring up towards the piston. You leave that bit out. Um, with that in, it can't compress the spring enough to get the piston all the way back to the trigger assembly for it to latch on. I do remember now that the bloke did say you leave that piece out. So that piece is out, the gun now cocks, it fires. So we're gonna um, get it outside and we'll shoot through the chronograph and see if it's an improvement on the power. It did feel like it had a bit of a jolt to it when I pulled the trigger. I know I dry fired it, you know, one of them things, isn't it? So, we'll wait for a bit of better weather and we'll see you outside. So all that effort, changing those springs, waste of time. <laughs> it's less powerful than it was originally. So I'll be putting the full power spring back in it at some point. Um, it said that with this kit it would take it over 25 joules. That's not the case. You can feel it has got a bit more recoil. Uh, I tried two different pellets. I tried the, the 0.51 of a gram uh, and then I tried the one gram gam gamo pellet. Um, Waste of time. Don't bother. It's, well, I can't say any more than that. The effort that I just put in changing these springs. We've got less power. Why do we bother? Why do we bother? Anyway, I hope you like this video. And this is a, a tutorial of what not to do. So we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.